Mariana Trench Mystery Bet you've heard a lot about Mariana Trench, so you definitely know answers to such questions as What will happen if we drop an atomic bomb in Mariana Trench? Or what will happen if we drain it to the bottom? Although there are much more unrevealed mysteries and even funny facts of this deep, dark place, so we prepared something you definitely haven't heard before. Do you know how many Donald Trumps it takes to reach the Challenger Deep? Or how much time would Michael Phelps swim to reach the bottom? Watch our video until the end to find out. What is Mariana Trench? The Mariana Trench, or Marianas Trench, is the deepest part of the world's oceans. It is located in the western Pacific Ocean and is named after the Mariana Islands. It reaches a maximum, known depth, 36,070 feet at a small slot-shaped valley in its floor known as the Challenger Deep, at its southern end. Although some scientists arguing the deepest point is 36,201 feet. Everyone knows the example of Empire State Building. But do you know how many Donald Trumps it takes to reach the Challenger Deep? The answer is approximately 5,756. Actually, we stopped counting after 4th. The pressure of the Mariana Trench's bottom, Challenger Deep, reaches 108 MP. It's so high that can easily transform humans' body into foil. Whoa. By the way, it took Michael Phelps as long as two hours to reach the bottom if he wasn't squeezed by water pressure. For the same reason, there's no sand on 36,000 feet, but the only slime. Yuck. The Mariana Trench is part of the boundary between two tectonic plates. Pacific and Mariana Plates. Near is formed Mariana Arc, that is responsible for island volcanoes and earthquakes as water trapped in the plate is released and explodes upward. The first who dared to conquer the abyss was Challenger, but when it reached the bottom, the crew suddenly noticed that… Stop. Wait a minute. I see. You're rather brave and curious to start the journey by yourself to see everything on your own eyes. Take a deep breath and open your eyes wide. You'll start your journey very soon. Are you ready? Countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. We're 1,148 feet underwater. The first animal on our long way down is a blue whale, the largest animal on the Earth. Wave, we won't see him during our journey. Now we're at the deepest point it can reach. 1,213 feet. It's rather cold and dark here. We've reached maximum diving depth for a human without special equipment. Without it, the water pressure will virtually squeeze human body. Ouch. I can't see anything. Where are we? Equipment shows that we're at 3,280 feet underwater. At this point, light can no longer penetrate the water. Now I really miss the beautiful views of my town. It was so bright. We're only 3,280 feet underwater, and it will be darker and colder. Maybe it's better to go back. No? Do you want to go until the end to reveal all the secrets? Alright, so let's go. Wow. What's that pink spot glowing there? It's glowing sucker octopus. It is about 5 to 10 centimeters and scientists studied it relatively poor because it's rather a rare specimen. Only two species are bioluminescent. Oh, and did you notice something bright over there? Keep away from that creature. Almost everyone remembers anglerfish from famous movie Finding Nemo. By the way, it was released 15 years ago. Anyway, this creature is a real underwater monster. The females of this ugly fish are much bigger than the males, growing up to 1.2 meters long, while the males only grow about 16 centimeters long. Their mouths are so big and their bodies so pliable, they can actually swallow prey up to twice their own size. The anglerfish uses a natural lure to draw its next meal nearer. 
Brr. This creature looks like a monster from science fiction. Let's continue our journey. What's that? I already saw that somewhere. Maybe even in a movie. Right. It's Titanic Rex. That means we reached 12,450 feet. Dark, lightless place. Wait, are they disappearing? These are microbes, gradually eating the wrecks. Some reports suggest they are the reason Titanic might disappear within 20 years. Sad story. We can't help. So, let's move on. You look a little bit scared. Don't panic. This is Fangtooth. Despite the fact that their teeth give them a very frightening look and make them look unapproachable, they're very harmless to humans and are quite small in size. This means we reached Abyssal Zone, 13,120 feet. The pressure here reaches around 11,000 pounds per square inch. Just imagine the pressure of eight jumbo jets. Strange, frightening looking creatures inhabit these depths. They are almost blind because of light absence. Some of them were discovered only last year, for example, Octopus Casper, but we're diving deeper and deeper. Here are another shipwrecks, Bismarck Rex. Maybe it's full of treasures we can't reach. This means we are close enough to Hadal Zone. The pressure levels here reach 16,000 pounds per square inch, over 11,000 times the amount of pressure on the surface, but these fish don't care about it. Are you freezing a little bit? The temperature here is 35 to 37 Fahrenheit. Did you take a hat? But we continue. What's happening? Why our ship has stopped? Do you see the same? Hold tight, we'll try to escape. Oh, now we can relieve. It was a creature resembling giant prehistoric lizard. The same happened with the German apparatus Hayfish in 2003. This creature attacked ship and the crew, but they activated electroshock weapon, so the enormous monster swam away into the abyss. Our journey is getting more and more dangerous, but now it's too late to come back. 23,000 feet. Be careful, here we found teeth of Megalodon, the biggest prehistoric predator. Its length was up to 60 feet. Scientists believe they became extinct 2.5 million years ago, but their teeth are much younger. Researchers discovered them only 10 to 11,000 years ago, so maybe they're still there waiting for their victims in dark ocean corners. We finally reached the point the first crazy people conquered in 1960. Hey, meet these guys. Don Walsh, who was a US Navy lieutenant and Swiss engineer Jacques Picard. The mobile phone was intended only in 1973, in 13 years after these guys plunged into the bottom of the ocean. They stayed for 12 minutes at a depth of 35,800 feet. To do this, they waited about 5 hours to dive and almost 3 hours to climb from the bottom. This list of madmen who plunged into the Mariana Trench isn't over. We've almost reached the bottom, the same as James Cameron, Terminator's director. He dipped into the Mariana Trench the second time in history on May 26, 2012. Was it a good idea to get to the bottom of the sea alone? Definitely yes. Probably after the Titanic director cannot calm down about things he have found at the bottom. Finally, we're here. Dark, almost lifeless bottom. Our journey is completed, so we can come back to the sun. Now you know a little more information about the Mariana Trench, especially the number of trumps that we need to reach the bottom of the cavity. We are confident that the Mariana Trench still hides lots of secrets that will surprise humanity. We will definitely return to explore this mysterious place in the future and share with you even more interesting, crazy, and funny facts. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Shiny Channel, or our self-esteem will drop to the bottom of the Mariana Trench.